Hi, this is Beth Dury again. I'm just going to show you how to do like a layered um, effect, adding textures to your photos to make them look a little bit different. Okay, so here's the one that I just finished, and it's another like levitation shot. Turned out pretty neat, I think. Um, what I did was I put like a like a layered. It looks like a old type paper effect on it. And I layered four layers on top of it. So what we're using is Picnic today. And I will show you what you can do. So what I did was I grabbed these photos. I used a photo of me standing here. This was the background photo. And see, it looks totally different from the picture. Okay, so I got that one. Now I'll just delete that. And then I used one of me flopped over a bucket. <laughs> the magic of making this. Okay, so now what you what you are going to want to do is I'm gonna click through here, try to do it really quick, and show you the magic of what it comes from. Okay. And what I did was I, I used the tool in TouchUp. What I used was the airbrush, and I airbrushed out all the background and cloned and recloned, and it took absolutely forever, but it turned out looking like this. And then all you have to do is you grab down from your photo basket whatever layers you want to use. And what I was using is a piece of paper with crumpled paper edges. So I'm just pulling that down to where I want it and I'm going over to the, this um, where it says photo properties and what you do is you select instead of you can go normal add, darken, so to get the effect that you want you can pick whatever you want here. I used multiply and then I just uh, clicked it and then what I did was I dragged up another one and I just rotated it rotated it made it the size I wanted and made sure it filled the whole screen so I have no overlapping nothing that looks like it's overlapping and I just um, did multiply again and then I think the third one that I did I used overlay just to give it a brightness. Um, you can just fool around with the different textures to see how you would, what you would want. I think I used overlay, see, and it gives it a bit of a glow. And then I just did the same thing for the other end, and um, it turned out like uh, the picture that I showed in the, in the very beginning, right? and it turned out to be this photo right here. So hopefully that helps you in putting background textures to make your photos look really awesome. Okay, thanks again, uh, and have a good day.